Today's episode of The Insect Hunter, I'm up here in the mountains, and I put up a black light and left it going all night for a few nights to see what kind of insects would come, and uh, I think the results are pretty awesome. Hey guys, before I get into the episode, I wanna remind you guys about the Insect Hunter Wall of Fame. I've got two pictures that you guys submitted that I'm gonna be adding to the wall today. So stay tuned to the very end so that you can see which ones got selected. So the first thing I wanna to say to you guys is that this worked out awesomely. So what I did is I just set up a black light. You know, we're up here in the mountains. I set up a black light and I had it running all night long and it was just basically facing the wall of this building, which is kind of reminiscent of a log cabin. So I believe the wood does make a difference, but it's just been going all night long, and I'm amazed at how many moths have been attracted to this thing. I mean, I've just seen them landing here before, but the black light really did help. So here is one of the first ones I noticed this morning. It's got these super cool wing patterns, I mean, Looks like something came and bit chunks out of its wings, but that's what they're supposed to look like. It's part of kind of their disguise, I believe, to blend in with trees and other things, or leaves, that type of thing. Very cool, definitely. Also, just look at the abdomen. The abdomen is really interesting, kind of cool. It reminds me of like a stick insect or a praying mantis, but it just really does a pretty good job blending in. It's pretty cool. Look, on the abdomen, there's two little spikes. I don't know if these are an extension of some scales or something, but kind of cool looking for sure. And these guys have just been attracted to the black light. Um, kind of gives them a source of heat so they can stay warm and relax. And then uh, just kind of draws them in, so it's pretty cool. So that's a neat one. Here's another one of that same species. It's beautiful colors, really interesting moth. Now, around here, there's all sorts of other moths. Most of these are all trying to blend in with trees. So here's one here. This would blend in perfectly with a dead tree. It's got some pretty cool looking uh, striped legs, which are kind of cool. Here's another one, very similar. This one down here I really like because it's got super fuzzy legs. Really cool looking. Really cute in my opinion. Well, this one up here is definitely one of the coolest. Look at this guy. Look at those fuzzy legs. Get that nice white color. This one I almost think could be mimicking bird poop or something. I mean seriously it looks like just a chunk of bird poop other than those really fuzzy legs up there. This one's got a couple spots on there which are often to mimic eyes to kind of scare away predators. You see the two dots there. This one here, I really like how when this one has folded up its wings, it almost has like a ridge, uh, or almost like spiky appearance to it. I'm doing anything with them really. They're cold right now. They're still alive, but they're just really dazed. They're just barely waking up. Once the sun hits these guys, and they get disturbed a little bit, they're gonna take off, so. This one might even take off now, it's just kind of walking away because I disturbed it slightly, but... But yeah, they're pretty cool looking. Ooh, here's a nice pretty one. This one was hiding underneath that wood right there. Pretty cool looking, just very... Looks very bland in general, but it's, it's a nice pretty moth, very big. Another one trying to blend in with this environment. Here's another really pretty cool one. To identify these, I'd probably have to kill them because I'd have to spread out those wings and look a little closer, so I'm not going to guess unless I really know what kind it is or if it's a general group, but they sure are neat. You see this one here I think is warming up. Look at her go. These two that I touch, she's kind of flapping her wings just like that, which is going to kind of warm It'll warm her up so that she's able to take flight. This other one here is kind of doing the same thing. Just moving around, getting ready to go for the day. 
you can see there's tons of pollen here on this deck. It's just crazy how much pollen there is. Stick my hand out and see if it wants to come. Is it for a minute? Look at that. So beautiful. Look at those spikes. It's got like three three spikes. So cool. It's awesome. I love what those wings have done. Got like these chunks cut out of them and have like spikes. It's so cool. Such interesting creatures. Let's see. Now this one's trying to get warmed up and ready to go. Whoops. So beautiful. Such interesting patterns and colors. Still going over here. Oh, about ready to fly. One key thing I don't want to do is I don't want to touch the wings because as I touch the wings, the scales will break off. And then uh, that's just not nice because they won't look pretty. So I'm going to try and get its legs or underneath on the on the underside of its abdomen. Um, but I'm gonna try and just touch it and see if it'll start moving and then maybe it'll just walk onto me. There we go. Oh nice. It's got those beautiful little eyes hidden away. Wow. You have some secrets you were hiding from us. Obviously those aren't eyes, those are just to um to ward off predators. So a predator will see those and Thinks it might be an animal or something and can get startled, so kind of cool. But wow, such a pretty moth. I have to look up the species on this one. So cool. This one's doing the same thing as the other one, starting to warm up. Look at those really cool little orange spots down there below. It's really cool. Such a beautiful moth. Getting its antennae ready to go. Need to rock and roll, go out and find some mates or something. Most moths don't really feed very much. They will a little bit, some of them, on flowers, but most of the time they're just going out to mate and lay eggs, find the plants where their babies live, and that's about it. Pretty neat, getting all warmed up. Shaking his head. <laughs> I really like this color. I'm going to try not to damage it as best as I can. Come on. Let's move around. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh, look at this. Gosh. You are beautiful, my little one. So interesting. Those beautiful furry colors. Almost looks like a Pokemon or something. Ice bug Pokemon. <laughs> wow, so cool to be so close to these beautiful creatures. So wonderful. This is one of the nice things about going out and camping. I don't particularly enjoy camping, but getting to see more insects is always amazing. One's still warming up, so maybe my finger will help help it warm up a little faster. Probably gonna get into that uh, flight vibration mode here soon, and and take off. I'm just gonna put her back down, or it, and let it uh, warm up, and then take off for the day. So when I first put this out. A whole bunch of mosquitoes and midges and things were flying in here, but the midges and other insects that were here last night, they just disappeared. They just left. I bet as soon as the light came, they found something else to do. So these ones weren't attracted by lights in particular, but here's another tiny, tiny, tiny little moth, Microlep. These were just attracted to the side of the building. Okay, so last night I did it a little different. Instead of 
putting it up on, um, putting it up next to the side of the cabin. Um, I put out this tiny little, almost like a sheet. It's something for like a Christmas tree, a Christmas tree skirt. It didn't seem to attract the moths quite as much from what I'm seeing, but maybe it was just colder last night. I don't know. But we did luckily get this right here. Super excited. I love these. This is a tiger moth, so we'll see if we can grab it. Here's a beautiful looking tiger moth and they have beautiful designs. I love the designs on these. Almost zebra like and then they've got that reddish color underneath on this species. Very pretty. So beautiful. It's very cold right now. Not able to do much of anything. Very cool. For you, we'll just put you down, and as the sun warms up, you can fly away. So, as you guys can see, that is a great way in order to find and be able to catch a lot of moths, uh, whether you're doing that for crafts or for an insect collecting project, or if you just want to see moths. I thought it was awesome. I enjoyed just getting to handle them very gently, trying not to destroy those scales on them. But I enjoyed that a lot. So hopefully you guys are able to make some use of the things that I shared there. I think a key important thing is the fact that it got really cold in the morning and the moths just stayed there. They were attracted to the light in the night and they just stayed. So that was an awesome way to get a whole bunch of moths. I'm sorry I didn't have the best audio quality or it was a little shaky too, but I had only so much space. I had to haul three kids and my wife and all of our stuff, you know, so I wasn't able to bring a lot, but I did want to show you guys what I found. So now we're going to get to the Insect Hunter Wall of Fame. I've got two pictures I'm going to be adding today. I got a lot of submissions. If you haven't submitted any yet, you can submit them by typing in this link on your browser, um, going there, and then you'll be able to submit a photo that may have a chance to get up there. There are still some photos in the queue that I have that will probably be used for the next upcoming episodes, but I'm also uh, open to receive others, and if something's better than one of the ones I've selected already, um, then I'll, I'll switch it up. So the first image that I selected is this one here. And this one is of a tiger beetle. This is an awesome looking specimen. I love tiger beetles. They're an awesome predator. And I, I just love teaching people about them. So tiger beetles are very fast. They run fast and they fly fast. So they are one of the hardest insects to collect. So hats off to James Fairclough for being able to get a picture of one of these. He said it was out basking in the sun and I thought that was just awesome that he was able to get a picture. Uh, must have been, you know, like those moths just warming up and he got the right picture at the right time. So I thought that was awesome that he shared that with us. Beautiful picture. So when I went through these images, this next one was taken by my friend Brian Rich. I honestly was not being biased at all when I selected these pictures. I just went through the pictures and I thought, what looks like it's good high quality, what's interesting, and what's unique. And so when I actually looked at who took this picture, I was like, oh, that's awesome, great for Brian. He definitely deserves it. He's a personal friend of mine. And the story that he shared is that um, he saw this Texas um, wasp moth. I uh, came to a flower that was in a flower garden that he had put in in Texas with some native flowers and it came and visited there, so Brian was sitting for hours waiting and watching and taking pictures of the insects. So I thought this was a great addition. Congrats to you, Brian. Welcome to the wall. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure and like and comment and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so you're notified of the next group of videos and feel free to submit your pictures for the Insect Hunter Wall of Fame. I'm excited to see what other things you guys can get pictures of and excited to share the next episode with you guys. Thanks for watching.